welcome our second chapter is self management skill in employability skill the first one communication skill we have discussed already the second one is self management skill in self management skill first we are checking stress management we come across problems and our stress is increasing so it is very necessary to control your stress and keep your mind very cool it is good for your health nowadays you can see teachers also in stress they cannot take class resources are not available even students are not there so pressure is greater than resources is greater than resources if pressure is greater than resources stress will be there so in order to avoid such situations teachers they are turning into online classes so actually this stress take them one level higher so such stresses are known as positive stress that will take you one step uh, above in your life that will teach you how to cope with the situations but some other stress should be managed some long term stress it will affect badly for your health and mind so this chapter we will discuss how to control stress we will check some casual stress agent some agents are there they are bringing stress into our life the first one is mental stress especially for the students there will be lots of homework and you cannot cope with the homework you cannot complete the homework you will get it or you will get tension some other people they are working in office they go they they got some deadline and the work is not getting finished so they also will get stress such stress we are calling mental stress at the time of result your expectation will be more and the grade won't come up to your expectation that also will make you mental stress the second one is physical when the children grow up they are very critically conscious about their appearance or the changes in them they have to cope with hormone changes some other people they are not physically fit they are also getting stress such old stresses we stress we are calling physical stress another stress agent that is social factors problems in the family sometimes you cannot maintain a relationship amongst your friends so such cases you will develop some sort of stress such stress is known as social stress sometimes the pressure from your peers so this all can this all brings pressure at a time the last one is financial pressure at a growing age the young people they will face lots of financial problems not only individual sometimes the country there will be financial crisis because of uh, some other problems even the world will go to recession sometimes so the stress because of money or finance is known as 
financial stress by managing the stress we can increase our immune system always our mood will be good if your mood is good you will get a good mind that will help you to be healthy this way your immune system also be very good so stress free mind is good for any work so getting a good mood for everything is very interesting the same way you can increase your life lifespan because you are healthy mentally and physically normally you are not getting any disease or anything you are not getting age also you can increase your physical strength so physical strength is very important to achieve any goal by keeping your mind cool you can put 100% of your mind and physical strength to achieve any goal. complete physical and mental engagement is possible by managing your stress you can increase your efficiency and effectiveness this is very helpful to prevent psychological disorder and behavioral problem here we will discuss about some stress management techniques how to manage your stress when stress affects your mind the body also has the same impact so engaging some physical activities like sports football cricket hockey indulging in any, any sports walking swimming it will reduce your stress yoga yoga a school of hindu philosophy a series of a body posture and breath controlling it will help you to control your stress meditation in a meditation a person is supposed to concentrate on particular object thought or activity to achieve a calm mind it helps to reduce stress enjoying or recreation watching movie nature walk going for any other indulging in any other activities like sketching attending a concert this all bring you happiness this is a technique this is a technique to reduce your stress another stress management technique is taking a vacation having a vacation from your daily routine will help you to bring calmness in vacation you go with your family and friends you go anywhere and you will get happiness another one is nature walk taking a nature walk in your village any wild life sanctuary any other park also will bring you calmness let's check the ability to work independently when somebody get a chance to work independent their learning ability will increase the chances of learning good things are more and every individual can choose their work working hours and working mechanism the responsibility of success or failures will come upon his shoulder so every individual become more responsible they will become an asset of the organization even the asset for a nation and every one will be more comfortable they can enjoy the work a lot thanks for watching let's start with the basic icd skills we will see in next chapter thank you once again